Hey everyone, it is November 1st, 2013. I hope everyone is having a great day. Here in New York, the weather is absolutely amazing. Uh, it rained a little bit earlier this morning, but then it got up to close to 70 degrees. It's a little sunny, and it was really nice. So I decided to take a little walk, do a little food shopping, nothing big, just like, you know, essentials the house needed, like butter, milk, you know, stuff like that. I needed yeast for uh, the bread that I make, so I got a couple of packages of that. I picked up a couple of uh, real healthy uh, chicken franks, which I think I'm going to have tonight. And uh, I got some uh, Hot Pockets that were uh, on sale. I got about uh, five packages, so each package held uh, two Hot Pockets, and they were only like a dollar each, so it was $2 a box, so that was a pretty good bargain. And then I came back, but I wanted to talk about... Um, pretty much the event that just played out in uh, LAX. They seem to have gotten it under control. And right now, the last I heard anyway, I just got back, so it might have changed since then. But uh, the last I heard about the incident was that there was one shooter. Uh, they seem to have closed down the entire airport. Everything is in shambles. Uh, people don't know what they're going to do with their luggage. One woman actually said she lost her wallet because... As you were going through the screening process, as you all know, you got to take out your wallet and put it in a little plastic bucket, and you got to take off your shoes, and you got to take off your watch, and you got to take off all the stuff. And I guess uh, a lot of people got caught up in the middle, and as they were going through the screening process, you got to realize if you have all your stuff out, like let's say your wallet, and you put it in the uh, bucket, and all of a sudden you hear gunshots, well, you're not going to go looking for your wallet during the x-ray machine, you know, so a lot of people probably lost a lot of items, there's a whole bunch of chaos, I'm sure there'll be a whole bunch of stuff lost, uh, you know, a lot of sticky fingers will uh, take place, uh, you know, some people say, well, we don't know what happened to that, sir, uh, we don't know what happened to your laptop, it must have gotten lost, or we don't know what happened to your wallet, sir, <laughs> you know, all that stuff was going to be playing out, I'm sure. Um, but, uh, I wanted to talk about the actual, uh, shooting event. First of all, um, I don't know if this is guy had, a you know, run in with a TSA agent. He was disgruntled about the TSA agents. I don't know if this was a false flag, uh, that's going to be, uh, looked upon as, uh, we need more security at the airport. Now, maybe the TSA agents need to be armed. You know, that's the next thing that really caught my mind when they were talking about it on CNN. Uh, they spoke about, uh, they immediately went to the, uh, to the idea that these TSA agents are totally helpless. You know, you know, as these pat, and they pat you down, they have no firearms like the cops do. So they're totally, totally, uh, unarmed. And, uh, maybe now they'll have to, uh, pass a new, a law, you know, then maybe now the TSA agents will be armed. Who knows what's going to come from this. But um, I find it very interesting that whether or not this guy was a disgruntled guy that was just peed off at the TSA agents or he was just upset with the system, maybe it was a uh, false flag to just pass new laws. I don't know. But I do know this, people, a lot of people today in uh, L.A., were very upset. They're still in traffic. There's going to be hours and hours of delays. Uh, there are people right now on the highway. They don't even know how to get back because once you get up on that ramp, you can't turn around and go back. You're stuck on that ramp until they open it. So they're talking about hours and hours and hours of uh, traffic. And the people that are stuck at the airport right now, they have to be totally screened again. So those people will be stuck at the airport for hours and hours and hours. I don't even know if they'll find their luggage. You know, how do they find their luggage? I mean, what happens to these planes? Now, if, you, if a plane's supposed to take off, let's say, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and your luggage is on there, you know, uh, you know, what do they do? You know, I, I really don't understand how they're going to get through this mess, but I guess that's their problem at the airport. The security and the officials have to deal with that. There are going to be a lot of pissed off people, let me tell you. A lot of people are going to lose a lot of laptops. I'm sure there'll be a lot of wallets that are missing, uh, you know, because people just ran. They left their stuff and ran. 
uh, at the checkpoints. You know, you hit gunfire, I'd probably do the same thing. And uh, that's why when I go through an airport now, uh, the last trip I took was to Aruba, I made sure to watch my uh, wallet and all my belongings to see where it was. And I grabbed them immediately. You know, I grabbed my wallet, I grabbed my shoes, I grabbed everything uh, to make sure that I had everything at the time in case some stuff broke out. I wasn't dilly-dallying too much. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. It just goes to show you, you know, you don't know, you're not safe anyway. You don't know where anything will jump off, whether it's a false flag, whether it's some isolated nutcase, whether it's a terror attack. You don't know. You really don't know. You know, I, I try to stay safe wherever I go. Uh, it sounds crazy, but when I go to a movie, movie theater even, I make sure that I know where the exits are, how to get out. I always think ahead what I'm going to do if an isolated incident happens. Uh, whether I'm in a supermarket, I always make sure I am aware of my surroundings. It's crazy. That's the world we live in now. You don't know what's going to jump off or where it's going to jump off. Now, <laughs> airports are uh, now uh, not safe. You know, the safest place in the world, you would think, that uh, the, everyone's saying, oh yeah, the, the TSA is there, and there are cops there, and this is after 9-11. It just goes to show you that somebody actually got in with an, uh, it sounds like a, an assault rifle this guy had. So who knows, you know? The story will change as the days go on, I'm sure. There'll be a lot of ideas with a lot of different theories, and uh, I, I'm sure that uh, there'll be a whole bunch of things to talk about after this day is over. Take it easy, everyone. Stay safe. Bye.